Nature and wildlife are true inspirations to me. They're, it's the place that always makes me giddy and I'm sparked by it. So I think that is my true inspiration, but my voice is art. One of my current projects is with the National Aquarium in Baltimore. We are creating the backdrop for a new exhibit called Living Seashore. As an artist, one of the things that connects me to animals and what I do is, is rendering each one and taking care to recreate this. And that whole process of making it from start to finish helps me build a stronger connection to the animal. Maybe it's that building it with, with these cut pieces and it's more sculptural and that uh, it has had more dimension, like a, an actual dimension with the layers of the paper that you can't achieve with, with just paint. It'll um, be special and unique from what might typically be out there. And I think that's something that this exhibit has focused on a lot is, is finding different ways to connect people and doing something a little bit more unique someone can learn about the animal or fall in love with an animal or biology or science because of the artwork, then all of a sudden the artwork has a life beyond itself. And that's what's really wonderful about having the work in an institution like the aquarium. What the aquarium is striving for too is, is educating and, and connecting. In having worked on this, uh, it's changed my viewpoint also in that when I go to the beach I'll remember that these things are under the water because it's easy to forget what you don't see and that's also um, what I hope art can remind us of is making the hard to see visible. What's so special about animals in general is that they're not just everywhere at all times. It's special when you get to see this. So. I'm hoping that when the guests come and see this, they're, they're blown away by all that lives under the water. And next time they go to the beach, they'll think, wow, yeah, there's probably a shark in there, or there's probably jellies and a school of this and a school of that. These, these experiences do last for a lifetime, and people do have memories and really do hold on to their experience here. So I do think that it can be something that they carry with them forever. <laughs>